Well, good day, viewers. Today we have a 2019 Ranger, the Mighty Ranger, with the V6 EcoBoost. And I did a previous video on this with the engine warning light on because of a VIN mismatch code, but now we have the airbag warning light on. Let's uh, watch how it responds during a startup. Comes on for a bulb check. Goes out and comes back on. So it has a code for a forward crash sensor. So we're going to have a look at that visually, see if there's anything physically wrong with it that we can see. So let's take note of what code is in the airbag computer right now. <coughs> B1413-11. So when we look up this B1413-11 on Identifix it says Driver frontal restraint sensor circuit short to ground. The fault is indicated when the restraint control module sensors are short to ground on the driver frontal impact severity sensor feed circuit. So it's a failure mode 11. And that, that there is no cases on this on Identifix. Now I would assume this is one of the sensors in the front, but I'm not 100% certain. So first and foremost, it says basically turn off the engine, depower the airbag, disconnect the front sensor, repower this airbag system, and turn the key on and use the scan tool to see if the code changes from a 1413.11 to a 1413.13. First, we're going to have a visual look at this sensor and see what it looks like. So I'm underneath the truck looking for this sensor. And according to this, it's in the left front corner. Right there. But this truck has a modified bumper on it and a winch installed in it. I took the skid plate off. And the harnesses are just hanging here. But I don't see that sensor anywhere up in this area here. You see, they looks like they modified the uh, rad support to fit this winch in here. Sorry, you can't see that. But it should be up in this area. I don't like the way they left these harnesses hanging like this. This was just recently installed because this winch looks like it's brand new. Wow. Well, I'm gonna find the sensor. So it's actually a left and a right by the looks of this. There's the sensor, item number one. And it looks like it's mounted on that rad support below the rad. They want you to take this under pan off which has been changed and modified usually the airbag sensor wiring harnesses are in bright yellow loom for identification purposes hmm, I wonder if something happened when they did this winch install so I found them they're on the back of that frame rail that's been Looks like it's been cut for clearance for the winch, but I'm not sure. That doesn't look factory. But I see some electrical tape on that purple and yellow wire which are going to this crash sensor on this side. And that's highly suspicious. Let's see the other side. If I can get a trouble light in there. Can't really see in there. Yeah, you can barely see it up there. Well, this is not going to be convenient to get to. I'm going to have to talk to this fellow and find out when this airbag light came on. Because this winch was just... Looks to me like it was just installed. There's highly suspicious electrical tape on that connector. So I'm looking up there at that sensor with a borescope. And it's definitely looks to be like it was cut with a 
by accident. Mm -hmm. Let me get in there with a little closer. You can see evidence of a saw mark across it. So I'm going to talk to this customer because to get at that sensor, we got to drop this winch bracket or take the winch out or something. And that doesn't look like it's five minutes. Somebody did this. I think they had to cut that lower radiator support to gain access to the for room for the top of the winch and they missed, didn't realize that there was a uh, crash sensor behind it when they were cutting it and inadvertently damaged it.